Hi, I'm Damon Crumley with Learning Blade, and I'm going to show you how to do our Design a Rubber Band Car activity from our Mission Challenge resources to promote exciting STEM careers to your students. In our car manufacturing mission, a local car manufacturing plant has announced a student contest to design and build the next generation car. As part of that contest, students would go on a virtual tour of the plant and see how modern vehicles are made. In this mission challenge activity that we're going to do today, your students will become automotive engineers as they design and construct a rubber band powered car that will be measured in various ways. Now through this, they'll explore how to design and construct model cars and then understand how a car's features impact its performance. So now let's begin constructing our rubber band powered cars. For the materials, almost any common household items can be used, and the design of your students' cars will be dictated by the materials available. Also, the students' cars will probably be radically different from one another, even if they have access to the same materials. The first thing students will probably need access to are basic tools like pliers, a ruler, a hole punch, thumbtacks, tape, or hot glue. We'll also use two unsharpened pencils for axles, but any other long, round objects could also work. We'll need two rubber bands for the car's power source. Now, if you're holding a competition between different groups, try to make sure each group has similarly sized rubber bands. For our wheels, I'm going to use some old CDs, but you could use plastic container lids or even cardboard circles that you've cut out by hand. And for the body of the car, we're going to use a paper towel roll, but you could also use something like pieces of cardboard or craft sticks. And after the cars have been constructed, you'll need a stopwatch or the timer on a smartphone to measure how fast the cars travel over a certain distance. So now let's begin constructing a rubber band powered car. So as I said, we're going to use our paper towel roll as our body. I probably don't need all of it, so I'm going to actually cut it a little bit shorter. It'll make it easier for me. We'll need that half. I'm going to use this part over here. Um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use a hole punch and I need to make uh, some holes that these uh, axles will go through. Alright, so if I've got that, it should be able to go through. That's pretty good. Over here, same sort of thing. Alright, so I've got that. Now what we'll do is we're going to uh, work with our wheels here. So one thing we're going to do is I'm going to put the wheels through and I'm just going to tape these to it. So I've got my wheels there. Now one thing we're going to run into in a lot of these car designs is when we've got a rubber band, a lot of them you can wrap around the, the axle, but then once it um, once the rubber band you let go of the car, the rubber band's going to pull and it's going to spin the axle, but if it's still attached to the axle, it's going gonna, it's gonna to catch on it and then wrap back up the other way and slow your car back down. So one of the ways that we're going to uh, deal with that is we need a way for the rubber band to wrap around the axle but then slip off while it's going. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to take um, one of these uh, thumbtacks and I'm going to push it into my uh, pencil and that's going to uh, allow me to uh, slide the rubber band off once the car gets going. Uh, I'm going to take a craft stick, I'm going to wrap both of my rubber bands around this and just get it through here. I'm going to put this on the other side. Get that down in there, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tape that. Let's see. On there. All right. So. And again, we can see that the rubber band is down in there. I'm going to take it, I'm going to wrap it around uh, my axle, and then when I let go, it should unspin. So now we'll take our CDs, 
stick them on here. Okay, you can see I've had to cut a uh, hole in the top of the car so that I can reach my rubber bands. But now that I've got them, I can pull that and I want to slide them over the thumbtack on here. So I'll do that, place them over the thumbtack. And now, got them there. And now if I wind this up, you can see that the rubber band is now tightening. So I can take this and I can put it here and if I let go it goes. And that's an example of how this mission challenge activity can be used to introduce your students to automotive design and manufacturing careers. This activity also includes several discussion questions that you can use to gauge your students' understanding of both the activity and their interest in the related careers. Now, there are lots of other mission challenge activities that you can find available in the resources section of Learning Blade. So it's not just this mission, but one for all of the missions in Learning Blade. So we urge you to go check those out as well. Thank you for watching this video.